Hello everyone, Ellie Diecast, and I thought I would do a video on how I do uh, at least a part of the airbrush stencils that I use. And so what I'm talking about is, um, here's a, a car, and what, I'm, what I want on this are some tiger stripes. And you can see I don't want it on all of the car, so I've painted the car yellow, and I'm going to spray over this yellow with an orange so that I end up with orange wherever you're seeing yellow. Wherever you're seeing the, the aqua or that vinyl, that's going to stay yellow. So it's a pretty simple concept. The, the trick you're going to have is getting a tampo, or not a tampo, a stencil like this on the car in the first place. So that's what I thought I'd, I'd cover. Um, so what I've done is I've printed out some stencils. And this is vinyl. You can get this on eBay or any sign store will carry this type of stuff. I get mine on eBay. It costs about a dollar a sheet, and the sheets are about twice as big as this. So for the die cast stuff that we're doing, or model making, this stuff's super cheap. I can get a lot of stencils off of it because everything I do is so small. But you can see here, and I've left this one unweeded, that... It takes a while to kind of weed all these parts out. And it, it, when you weed it, you're taking out the parts that you want the color to show through. So I've done all of them except for that one. I left that one so you can see it. These are going to be like um, leopard spots. These are zebra stripes. So we're going to do these zebra stripes right now. Now, if I was just to peel this off, so if I just started peeling off, it'll come off, but it's all going to stick together because all the support here has been removed when I've weeded out what, is, what you see as white, it's just going to end up being a crumpled mess before I can ever get it on the car. If I was doing something like flames, I might be able to peel this off and get it over to the car in one piece. But for the most part, I don't even try. So what I do is, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to cut out with transfer paper. This is just a small piece of transfer paper. And transfer paper, you can get at any airbrush store, any hobby store, easy to find. Just ask somebody at Hobby Lobby for transfer paper. It's used for all sorts of stuff. And I'm cutting off camera right now. And the reason I'm cutting off camera is in case it slips. So you don't see me cut myself. There we go. And I've cut out a little piece of transfer paper. I think it's transfer paper transfer tape I don't know what we call this but I'm going to put this right over the top of this and just press it down and right there looks good I'm going to do both sides of the car but for now I'll just do one and then what this is going to do is that paper this is exactly why I cut things off screen <laughs> you can't see that exacto knife I almost stabbed myself with so the um, this transfer paper now when I peel this off and you can see if I just peel it off it's not going to come off but if I kind of shove that that vinyl to stick up on it now when I peel it off if I'm very careful I get the whole piece peels off in one piece and it won't get all tangled up pretty nifty Okay, here's the car we're going to do. It's one of these little uh, Dodge pickup trucks. Uh, I'm not remembering the number on these. It was, it was the last round of uh, Matchbox cars. And now we're going to fit this on here. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to cover this wall of the car and a little bit of the front, not the top. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out which side I want where real quick. Just kind of guessing. I think we want this side. Okay. So I'm going to take this side and just put it down here. And I've got a little border on the bottom. It's probably not going to show up on the camera, but I can see through the paper a little bit. It's about the, it's kind of like tracing paper. You can probably see there. I can see through it. So I lined that bottom line up because there's a border that when I cut this out on my plotter, I left a border. And the reason I leave a border is it gives it a little bit more support. So we're just going to pat that down. That's good. And this guy's going to be pretty easy. All we're going to do now 
is you can see that we have basically a template and I'm just going to cut right there. This is also a uh, cutting pad. So don't cut on your mom's table or her favorite card table or whatever you got. Don't do that. Mom will kill you. My mom has killed me many times when I was younger for that. Okay, so you can see there we've got a cut. Now I don't want this up here. So what I'm going to do is peel this off again very carefully. The transfer tape paper should hold it. Got that. We're just going to cut this straight across because we know that we want this to go straight across now. Every car is going to be a little different, by the way. So you're going to have to kind of adapt. And all I'm doing is getting this so that the border on the bottom isn't going to bug anything. You can probably see it better there. See the, the border on the bottom. Let me zoom in a little bit. The border on the bottom there is, is not quite lined up. There. Nope. Now it's in the front. Uh, ah. That's good. There we go. Stick this guy down real good. And you are going to have to kind of press pretty hard. I should mention that the, the castings themselves have to have clear on them at this point. If you don't have a clear coat on them, then when you peel this off, you're going to peel off the paint. So the paint is super delicate. Just always remember that the paint itself is like tinfoil. It's going to rip super easy. But if you put clear on it, I'll show you what I use just in case. I use um, these auto air colors and wicked colors. So I use acrylic, but I use this transparent base. So you can go get this stuff. This stuff's bulletproof, by the way. It'll hold... It'll hold up against any sort of handling once the paint's on it. And you can paint right over it. It's not going to hurt anything. I'm going to peel this off now. Find a spot here I can get a hold of it. There we go. And when I peel it off, all I'm going to do is just kind of move my hand, or my thumb, actually, down so that each little piece as it comes free sticks onto the car. And you will end up with a... Pretty good. Stick on. Bam. There you go. And all this extra stuff isn't going to matter. There's nothing nothing up there to paint. So now i got to do this little front piece. That's easy. I just take one of these little extra pieces I've got. I'm going to find some good little stripes here on an extra piece. I'm just going to cut kind of a long piece. And kind of guessing on the length. Um, I think what I'm going to do on this one is I want to cut only half because I want it mirrored on the other side. So there's a little piece there. And you can see if I if I didn't have the transfer tape on that I could not do that. That thing would just be a tangled up mess by the time I got it on here. And we're going to take this guy and we're just going to stick him on there. That's good. Just stick it right on there. Doop, 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 doop. And if we did it right and we peel this away, let's see. We'll do this on live camera so you can see how easy it is. And if I had slightly longer fingernails, this would be super easy. Okay. This is where I've got to use an X Acto knife. I need that little piece of vinyl right there to come free. Come off. Let's try the other side. Okay, the other side is going to be easier. There we go. Once you get one side off, you're pretty much home free. Now you can see I don't need that other piece because I want it to be mirrored. So I don't even need this piece. See, it's going to be mirrored on the other side. So there we go. Press that down. This piece here is going to wrap around, I think. Nope. I think what I'm going to do, you can see that little border piece right there? All I'm going to do is cut it off. 
and well, maybe I think all I'm going to do is cut this piece off. And I'm using an exacto knife here. I'm gonna, I'll try to do it on camera. It's just a weird angle here for me. And all I'm doing is cutting that vinyl, and I'm just kind of rocking the knife back and forth to make a cut there. And if I got it right, come on. There you go. See, I just cut that so that there's a nice seam there. I think that'll work. Looks very tiger stripey. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to do the other side. I'm just going to do the other side. The only thing you got to make sure is that you mirror these so that you have opposite opposite designs. Um, now I I cut mine on a silhouette cameo, so I've been cutting a lot of these. I do sell these, so if you're interested, PM me. Um, if you're interested in either flames or or any of the patterns that you see in the video. Um, but uh, for the most part, I, I'm not set up on a website yet to sell them. I will be, but not yet. So you can PM me if uh, you're interested in that. And I'll be back with the other side of this done. Just a second. Okay, and we're back. Um, so this one's all set. And the only thing I've done different or since the camera was on, is I take my X-Acto knife. Now, it would probably work better if I had a better tool. I, I've used um, the end the ends of files for this before, but finding a dull X-Acto knife really works better. And then just lightly pressed the vinyl down into these little um, indentations in the casting, like where the door is there, and just run it along the the indentations you can kind of see there where I've pressed it in the reason is the vinyl is kind of stiff and if it lifts up around those edges then what you're going to get is you're gonna get paint bleeding under there and again when we're dealing with something so small a little bit of paint bleeding in underneath my my um, stencil is gonna wreck everything and it really will because a tiny little bit of paint it'll get under there and it'll run along the sides of the of the underside and it'll wreck this whole design so you keep pressing this down and then you make sure that that vinyl is really indented down into any of those little edges especially like right along these little razor lines here if I can get the the light right you can see right there probably right there you can see where it's pressed down in there so just run that don't scratch your paint but just run this along there okay now we're ready to paint this and I will be back once we get it painted okay we're back and um, so I spray painted these I spray painted them just with regular rattle cans for this I wanted kind of a a little bit more of a messy look so I think that turned out all right. I spray painted them with a slightly lighter yellow than the base color. And that's so the stripes back here where it's yellow will still show up. Hopefully, we'll see. And I spray painted it with an orange on the front. And then I came over the top of it with that same pale yellow just to calm down the orange. So what I have is kind of a gradient of a very light orange to a a light yellow in the back another trick is uh, don't let your paint dry overnight or anything on these peel off your tampos pretty quick or else the paint will seal everything in so now what we're gonna do is peel these off very carefully and we'll see what we have yeah and you can see we've got ourselves some cool Stripes. Yeah, I can already tell. I'm gonna have a few little extra ones. I'm gonna have to weed out here with my exacto knife. There we go. You can see that striping on there. It's gonna be pretty cool. Let's see if we can. 
Now remember, the paint's still wet. It's not super wet. I can handle this without wrecking it. It's probably been about five minutes since I sprayed these, so maybe 10. But I would take your tampos off before the paint dries completely, or else what happens, and there's probably a better terminology for this, but the paint sticks to the side of your stencils. And I said tampos again, these are stencils. But, um, and you'll end up ripping the paint. The paint kind of becomes like vinyl itself. There we go. I've got a few little pieces here. I'm probably going to, I'm going to need to weed out with my X-Acto knife. And I don't really want to do that on camera. So here in the front, I can't get a hold of those with my hand. So, but you can see how it, it turned out. So not bad. Pretty cool. Um, so I am going to uh, clean this up and I'll be right back and I'll do the rest and I'll show you what they all look like. Okay, and we're back. And just to show you how this guy ended up, um, here he is with all of his tampos off. Now, a couple more things are going to happen with this. I'm going to spray this with another coat of clear. I can go in and kind of touch up some of these areas once I do that with a small brush. And I'll probably just use yellow to kind of sharpen up a few of these lines. Um, I'm also going to add a lot of dirt and grunge to this, so it looks like it's kind of been rolling around out in the savanna. So these harsh colors, a lot of them are going to go away in the end because it's going to have kind of a layer of dust on top of it. Uh, also going to paint in all the detailing, like the headlights and the the um, logo, all that. So still a ways to go on these, but that at least shows you how I do some of the um, stencil work with these. I got a question about that this week. So there you go. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.